Where do you get your ideas? Many of my ideas, most of them come from my family or my pets. I believe in exploiting your family and your pets for fame and fortune. But Skippy came from definitely my cat. I had a Siamese cat, large ears, looked very much like a chihuahua. I had um, a little argument with a bumblebee in our basement and he was stung several times on his head. And when he came upstairs, he um, began to speak. He sounded an awful lot like Antonio Banderas. So that's exactly how it started. What is your writing process? One thing I do is I, I create a journal before every book I do. I will go through newspapers, magazines, old National Geographics. If I'm visiting or shopping anywhere and postcards, or, I fill a journal full of all kinds of visual things. And then when I, when I stick something in, in the journal, I'll, it will make me think of words, vocabulary words. So I'll make lists of words, like exciting, dashing, daring, um, and I'll just make a list of them. And I'll go on to the next page. But what happens is by the time I'm finished with my journal, my brain is so full of vocabulary, images, and I've solved problems. How do you start a story? In the very beginning, you can set up a, 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 a problem or, or an issue. Um, the best way for me to explain this is in the, the newest book, uh, Skippy John Jones, Cirque de Olay. Um, he starts out, he's walking and balancing on, on the telephone wires out in front of his house. That sets up a problem right there because he's a cat, he's walking on telephone wires. Not good. <laughs> but what is he doing up there and why is he doing it? Most stories in the Skippy series, the first sentence will sort of give you a clue as to what issues are going to take place in the, in the rest of the book. What do you like best about writing? I get to stay in my room, stay in my pajamas, drink hot chocolate, get out my crayons and my paints and my pencils. Um, I get to break up arguments between my cats, who literally are fighting on my artwork. Um, I, I get to live in a world that, and I get paid to live in my imagination. That's my favorite part. What advice do you have for young writers? I have to say that everything I've learned about writing is from reading, um, and reading so many picture books to my, my daughters growing up, that's really kind of like, you get that rhythm in, in your head. So I, I recommend reading a book out loud 50 times to yourself that just has the rhythm and the tone that you like and then sit down and start writing your own.